Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna go over my account because we just hit a uh, 1.5 million total rating. So, uh, with 1.5 million total base hero rating, which used to be like crazy, um, we're up there, boys. My prestige is 11,610, which is a lot higher than it was like a year ago. So, yeah, that's like my account info. And then we go to, we can look at like what I've done, I guess. Um, so we've done 100% Act 6, 100% 7.1. We've basically done all the content in the game that you can do. That's 100%. We go to the variants. We've 100%ed all these. The new variant will come out like in three days, so I'll do that. Um, we've also done Abyss 100% with my profile picture, as you can see. So content-wise, you've basically done everything in the game. We did John Mulaney's Champion Challenge also. Um, so yeah. Now, if we look at champions, I mean, if we start at one stars, the only new addition is I got Spider-Man yesterday from like a hero crystal. And I guess I didn't have him as a one star. So that's like the first time I've gotten a new one star in like years. And then I also got Deadpool from like a bundle like a few months ago because I knew if I didn't get in there, I'd never have a Deadpool in my account. Two stars, we pretty much got a shit ton of these guys just maxed out. Um, they're all max level. Three stars, um, not that many of them are max level. If I were to rank up all my three and four stars to like, at least like, if I were to rank up all these three stars and all my four stars to like rank three, I'd be at like over two million easily, but I just don't care to do that. Four stars, we've had like the same characters for a while. Um, I might rank 5 in Mortal Iron Fist for like a gameplay video, because he's cool. He's, I sigged him up. We have all these characters. Uh, the only characters we're missing... Actually, we're missing a lot of characters. Airwalker, Apocalypse, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Deadpool, Doctor Doom, Dragon Man, Hitmonkey, New Hulk, Kang, Nick Fury, Professor X, Red Goblin, Red Guardian, spider Ham, Storm, Thanos, The Champion, and Vision. Um, so yeah, whatever. We go to five stars. So this is where like we can actually look at like an end game roster and see like who actually gets used in an end game roster. So first stat Mysterio. Uh he was used a tiny bit for Actually no he wasn't. I brought him for some for like two of my X7 paths. Because there was a selective time stream boss, but I didn't even use him in the end. I used a warlock. So he did kind of just doesn't get used. He used to be for prestige, but now my top prestige characters are all Six stars, so yeah, he kind of just doesn't get touched. Style Suit Spider Man. Um, actually, him and Style Suit Spider Man, I think I realized, are both on the line sword defense, but I haven't done a line sword in a long time, so yeah, not really. Neymar, he was used a lot for some cool pass in Act um, 7. I find him pretty fun to play. Um, just for his like damage reflect, if there's a known fight, you can just reflect it, it's pretty fun. It's a node called like pressure gauge, and that's just annoying node. So I just use name so I can just ignore the node. Five star Doctor Doom doesn't get touched at all because I have a six star rank three, so he just not touched. Blade doesn't ever get touched either, but he was. I'm definitely happy at rank five. Him, he was my first rank five. He was in. He was in one of my top prestige characters for like at least two three years at this point. Um, He's just a beast back in the day, but like nowadays, he just doesn't get used. Sunspot uh, doesn't get used either. Just not really much to it. Medusa, if ever there's like a big robot, I do like using her. She's fun. She hits very hard. I use Medusa actually um, for Cavalier difficulty whenever there's a um, like the buffed up shit. I use her in Hyperion. She's pretty fun. Wasp, I use her for the ghost energy. Aegon doesn't get used at all because I have six star rank three. Cat Beardo, he gets used still if it is like for like the Cavalier difficulty when they need to use him for like debuffs, like on the the debuff path, I forget what it's called, where you need three debuffs. I also used him for one path in Act 7 and he was a beast for it. I had to use him and I had to take off Suicide just for this like crazy vivified path. And he was insane for that, so I'm so glad I have this character. Um, Symbio Supreme doesn't really get used at all. Nick Fury, I think one of my newest rank fives. Um, this guy is a fucking beast. I spent like a few thousand units to finally get deep wounds for this guy. I don't have it five out of five yet. I have it four out of five, which I, that's why you still have to see one mastery point, which I'll probably put in him soon. I just want to build up my units a little bit more. 
So I um built so I just um don't have like zero when I buy the five hundred fifty thing. But yeah, Nick Fury is a fucking beast. He did really well in some fights in F seven and I'm very happy to rank five him. I was considering not rank five in him because I was like, listen, I should be focusing on six stars at this point in the game. But I was thinking like, you know, even five stars, they're not like irrelevant to me yet. And I don't have him as a six star and I hear he's really good. So let's see for myself. And then, yeah, no regrets. This guy is fucking insane. Um, so yeah, I hope I really want to pull him as a six star now. Falcon, um, he doesn't really get used at all. Um, he was cool to rank five just for like some gameplay video. He, he's just a cool character. That's pretty much it. Uh, he's on the line for defense also, or he was for like diversity. But once again, I haven't done the line score in a long time, so yeah, I don't know. Archangel, this dude still gets used all the fucking time. He gets brought in so many paths. He just destroys like every path. I, th I think I've like six or seven fights in X seven, and like a good like third, like a good three or four of them are always just cheesable by Archangel. So. Yeah, I mean, he just was straight up destroying fights. I still use him all the time to this day. He just shreds everything that can bleed and poison. I would really love him as a six star. Thing doesn't get used at all. Not at all. I only ranked him up for a can't stop, won't stop path. And like 6.3. He has not been used to this day. Quake, still use her all the time for some straight bullshit. Use her in AQ. Um, used her for a lot in X7 item list because she came in clutch a lot and she was like my last character and she had like 20% health and she would just one shot the boss so Quake's just OP broken as shit but it is kind of harder and harder to use her in like story content because the health pools are getting bigger but like for like variants and shit um, and like AQ the health pools aren't getting big enough for her anytime soon so it's all good Colossus um, I don't really use him anymore I used him a lot, but now I have a six star rank two, so I don't use the five star as much anymore. Um, six star rank two is unawakened, which is the only reason I might bring in the five star over him, but even then, I still find myself using the six star whenever I do, just for that extra attack. I don't really need him to build up that much armor since the fights end so quickly. Uh, so yeah, I might not use him. Five star Corvus doesn't get used like at all. Um, Venom doesn't really get used at all. He was my OG uh, character just for damage. Like when I was first getting a few rank fives, he was like my damage character. But then once I got six star Corvus, um, that kind of just stopped. Uh, Domino used her for one path on Act Seven, the f the highly flammable path. Um, she just destroys that path because you do two hundred percent more damage with incinerates. Ghost doesn't really get used all that much because um, I have the six star. Void, um, I ranked him up. He was really good for the Abyss because they're on Torch. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. He was just good for the Abyss. That's all I know. I don't really use him for that much anymore. He doesn't really get used at all since I run Suicides. If I didn't run Suicides, I'd probably use him more, but I do. Silver Surfer, um, he's only at rank 4, but uh, I ranked him up for fun. I'm going to rank 5 him maybe, just because I don't like having him above the rank 4s in PI. That just looks weird. Um, he already is SIG 200. I put SIGs in him just for the fun of it because I wanted to see how fat his PI could get. Um, so that's just for fun. I rank 5 to MODOK for my old alliance um, for their defense. Um, so he's just rank 5 now sitting there. I don't know what his use is really. Uh, he's just there for fun, I guess. And for alliance for defense. Um, Magneto used him a lot in X7. He's a fucking beast still. Definitely top 2, top 3 mutants in the game. Um, Hyperion, um, he doesn't really get used at all. I just don't use him. I don't know if there is to use him for. Oh, no, I use him actually for the Cavalier buffed up. He's always my go to for that path. He fucking destroys it. And then She Hulk. Um, out of all my rank fives, I've used all these characters at least some point in the last year. I have not touched She Hulk once for anything in the entire game. I mean, if there's ever, like, a character I need slow for, I just use Stealth Suit. I just am more comfortable with them. Oh. So, yeah, She-Hulk has not gotten touched in years, like, just straight up, honestly. She's kind of just not good. And, I mean, she's good, but, like, for example, like, Thing in the Abyss. I tried to use her for that thing, but my damage just started getting too high, and I started just, like, getting protection on every hit. And it was just kind of annoying. So, yeah, she just doesn't get used for anything. And then I have all these rank 4s, um... Rank threes, rank twos. I got Tiger recently. She's cool, but I'm never gonna get ranked up because she's a five star. 
rank twos, and then rank ones. I got Spider Ham. Once again, I don't think I'm going to rank them up because I just don't want to put resources into five stars anymore unless they're like Nick Fury level or above, which none of these characters really are. I mean, Warlock is, but I have him as a six star. So now we go into the six star roster. This is my big boys. So Doctor Doom, surprisingly, doesn't get used at all. He's just kind of for prestige. I used him a lot in the Abyss. Actually, no, I did not use him in the Abyss because I got him from the Abyss Nexus. I used the five star for Abyss. Six star is really just here for prestige. Um... He was very good in the recent variant, um, the Mystic and Symbiote one. But he really just doesn't get used that much because I run Suicides. Um, if I want to use a Mystic, I go to my rank 3 Clairvoyant because I run Suicides. Corvus, he pretty much just gets used for AQ only. He's just an AQ god. Um, I love him. He's so good. Um, he's also in my prestige. Aegon, third guy in my prestige. Um, I used him for the Abyss. Um, in some past in Act 7, he's a fucking beast. We're slowly getting his SIG up there. His SIG was like SIG like 20 when I used him in the Abyss. And that's 84, so it's not terrible. But he's pretty much just for prestige in the Abyss. So I don't use him a lot anymore. I used him for like two paths in Act 7. Like the Cage Rattler path. An aspect of war he fucking destroyed. Like not even hard at all. Mega Red, um, insane. My fourth for prestige. Um, I'm pretty much going to put all my generic six stones into this dude out of any other character because I just want him at six 200. And I'm at 86. I think he's my highest six star for like um, what sig they're at. I think Aegon's second at like 82 or 84. He's 86. Um, I love this dude. He tears up everything in AW. Um, and he was used for a few bats in, um, for, in a, um, what's it called, Act 7. Clairvoyant. She's pretty fun to use when I need her, when I need a good mystic. Um, she's there because I run suicides. If I didn't, I'd definitely use Doom a lot more, but I do. And then my fifth for prestige and most recent rank three, rank three here yesterday, I believe, or two days ago, and I 100 percent at X 7.1. Ghost, she's just so good. I have her at 638. Her prestige is really trash, but I, I had to rank three her. She's just too good not to. I mean, that extra health and extra attack is very helpful. Use her in AQ basically only. AQ all the time, um, and then obviously a shit ton of story content, and she was on like all most paths, um, Ghost is just so good, Guillotine 2099, rank 2, um, and Warlock rank 2, very similar characters, um, I thought I liked Gu Guillotine more than Warlock, but the more I was using them both in the Act 7 beta, or not beta, just Act 7, um, the more I started liking Warlock more than Guillotine, Warlock's damage is not that good, um, realistically speaking, and I run suicides. So if I get a, uh, another tech catalyst, I'm definitely gonna give it to him because he needs the damage more. But uh, Gt399, I liked her, or I thought I liked her more because of her damage. But the more I played her, like you make one mistake and you just like lose all your damage. With Aegon, if you get hit, but you've already won like a fight, you're still gonna keep the damage from like that first or second fight. Like you don't just lose everything. With Guillotine, you lose everything and you have to build up another 100 damage you have to build up another 100 hits just to do damage again because your damage is not good until you have the um 100 hit so i just didn't like her because like you make one mistake and you're just screwed with the warlock if i made one mistake i could just get to a special three and then just regen back to full it was pretty fun i love his special two i love his special three i think his special one is pretty helpful in some scenarios so i just like him better so now i really want to awaken warlock and bring him at rank three over guillotine Club City, and I ranked two to him for fun because I think I was having some cosmic tier four CC and overflow, but he doesn't really get used. He gets he gets used a little bit on Cavalier difficulty on like the three debuffs or more path to do damage. I forgot what it's called again. Colossus, I really want to awaken this guy because I already have another mutant. I could rank through him, but I don't really want to awaken him until I rank three him, just because without Silver Stars, it just looks kind of weird. But he kind of does benefit pretty nicely from his awakened ability so holding off on that red hulk i could rank the ram but i'm not going to um i ranked you to him because i just wanted a science character i wanted a science six star rank two i'm on my account and he was just pretty good for like dealing with like man things and shit morning star just awakened her if i didn't run suicides i would love to take her up to rank three but i do so she's a lot harder to use massacre um 
If I have a tier 5 CC and overflow that's going to expire, probably going to go to him, um, which is tragic. But if I got to do it, I got to do it. He's He really destroyed the highly flammable path with Domino and X7, that one path where Incinerate's doing more damage. He was insane for that. Um, he's kind of fun to play. I'm not ranked to him. I don't know. Um, any damage where you need, any scenario where you need Incinerate, he's pretty sick for. Venom the Duck, he was my first six star that I got awakened, and he's just, I just don't use him for anything. He was my OG um, clearer from map 5 AQ like a year or two ago. Um, I used him for map 5, and I thought he was OP, but once I put on suicides, I pretty much just stopped using him. Korg, um, just Korg, I guess, Rock or Raccoon, same thing with him. Wasp, I just pulled her. If I awakened her, maybe I'd like rank three her because I have the science catalyst and she'd be a nice bump in prestige but I really just want to wait for like um human torch or cap beardo iron fist shit saber tooth uh good for a mega red man thing shit sorcerer supreme uh, she's good but you need to not have suicides to really use her at her fullest because you want to spam specials and I just love suicides and I'm not taking them off unless I have to like that one path in X7, that was like the only path I took out suicides for, and I did the whole thing item list. So yeah, she's probably not gonna get ranked up. Mr. Fantastic, I really don't like this character. He really fucking just blow. I really just don't like him. Um, maybe if I see like a YouTube video of how to play him, he'd be like him more, but he's, I just really don't like the way he works. If I were to awaken him, maybe he's a candidate for rank three because he has nice prestige, and maybe I'd appreciate him at a higher power level, I don't know. I still would rather use Human Torch, um, Annihilus, uh, yeah, whatever, don't use him. Maybe I'd rank him up for defense one day. Cable, if I ever get Apocalypse, he could be cool. Havoc, um, just don't like the character. Domino, don't really like the character that much. Um, Gamora, Green Goblin, just trash. Symbio Supreme, if I ever awaken him, I wouldn't mind rank 3 him. Because why not? He's pretty cool. Um, Electro, trash. I'm in Infinity War, trash. Long shot. Wouldn't mind ranking him up too if I awaken him. He's a cool character. Electro, Dormammu, Kamal Khan, trash. Void, if I awaken him. He could be a rank 3 option for science, but I don't know. Daredevil, trash. But fun fact, my 4 star Daredevil is what helped me clear the um, Collector in 5.2 all those years ago with the Evade. Uh, Yellow Jacket. Uh, trash hood I use for a ghost a venom if I awaken him I don't know I already have the five stars so probably not uh, miles trash uh, juggernaut fun fact yesterday or two days ago he was my first double dupe on a shit six star so I feel very honored to have juggernaut my new meme pull from the six stars so that's fun Iron Man trash Captain Marvel trash Civil Warrior trash Captain America trash beast trash Ant-Man I actually don't mind pulling Ant-Man because I wasn't able to bring that synergy for Ghost and F6 because I didn't have the 5 star. So now I have the 6 star, so that's fine, I guess. But yeah, that's my roster. We're at 1.5 million rating, 11,610 prestige. Um, so yeah, um, these are some of my stats. Um, yeah, not much really to it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go to like, comment, subscribe. You got to really see what an endgame roster's account looks like and who, who gets used, who doesn't, because most of these characters just don't, even though they're pretty good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.